and also I've been, you know, stuck in the conspiracy stuff, which frankly doesn't even serve my life. But I am curious about the things that other people have sort of come to the conclusion of about, you know, why this world is so corrupt. Because it is. And I, I <laughs> realised that when I got rid of the pharmaceuticals in my life and um, my life, I'd never been healthier. I spent my entire life in and out of hospital. I spent my high school years taking an oxygen tank to school and then I got sicker and sicker and sicker and their tests and everything. You know, no one, no one in the medical industry ever asked about my life. Never. They never saw inside my house. They never saw how toxic the lifestyle I was living. We're going to a doctor to get a pill to be able to continue a toxic lifestyle. I, I gave up on the pharmaceutical industries when I started bleeding out of everywhere from their, like, supposedly, the drug that I was supposed to be on for the rest of my life for emphysema. I lost my voice. I was starting a new job. I uh, was not in a good mental place. And I was bleeding out of my nose and out of my bum. <laughs> and... And, and, oh yeah, and I couldn't stop coughing. Like, that would seemingly be a symptom of emphysema, except it was a symptom of the drug. And anyone who is, who has got emphysema and anyone who is watching that patient with em emphysema would be thinking, oh, it's just the emphysema. It was the fucking drug that was doing it. So getting off pharmaceuticals and healing myself was the, it's not the start, actually, that was just the, the confirmation. You know what, something fucking, something's not right. Something's very corrupt about the medical industry, the pharmaceutical industries, and the, and what they're doing, and why I don't, why I don't do vaccines anymore. You know, <laughs> I won't get into it, but I don't trust them. And I don't, you know, give me some reason to trust them, because I don't. I would only trust them. I, I actually trust that the the doctors who spent all that money, their lifetimes, you know, a lot of money learning, think that they've been taught everything that they need to know about treating patients. I don't think the doctors are deliberately corrupt. Their information is corrupt. And their information is funded by the pharmaceutical industries. And it just goes further and further down the rabbit hole from there. And because of that, my brain wanted to know what else was corrupt. You know, why is the government bombing other countries? Why are we calling them the other countries terrorists when we're the ones attacking them? We're the terrorists. But I, there's so much about this world. And I think once you start to you unlock something, you unlock the possibilities of anything being possible. That that the education system, everything that we've been taught could have been, it's there to keep us as a slave. It's there to keep us where they want us. It's there to keep us under control. And there is good parts of it and there's the corrupt part of it. And then you can go further and further and further and you can do your, do your head in because once you unlock that and you don't have any um, trust in education, government, pharmaceuticals, yada, 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 you are trusting the conspiracy theorists, which is just as dangerous because not all the conspiracy theorists can be trusted either. Most of them can't be trusted. They're all just as, you know, like they're all as angry, I guess, as I was that I didn't get a healthy life until I was 39 years old after being diagnosed with all these things. and watching them all disappear after a lifetime of illness and so it's not just health conspiracies which I'm already convinced of there's more going on and and as much as I want to be, be like everybody else and go you know what it is just what it is you know the governments will be governments and pharmaceuticals will be pharmaceuticals you know blah 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 just having an like awareness of it and just go on with my life it, I can't help unturning rocks. I think there's way more 
then we get told and and this was supposed to be a video on morning routines so yeah I'm staying away from all this stuff at the moment 